Welcome to the Technol Update. I'm Kiana Daniel, the founder of the Investive Movement. Before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the Technol YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your friends. On Thursday, we found out that the U.S. GDP may fall short of 3% this year because of Boeing 737 MAX crisis. The U.S. jobs caught doubled in January, but its workers' productivity rebounded in the fourth quarter, and its weekly jobless claims hit a nine-month low. Across the pond, European Central Bank President Christine Lagarde said they are running out of room to fight global threats and that these threats could undermine the recent stabilization of activity. On Friday, we will mainly be looking at Canada's jobs report and the U.S. non-farm payrolls and unemployment rate. Today, I'm looking at the dollar cat pair, which broke above the daily Ichimoku cloud last week and now appears to be on its way to reach the 78% Fibonacci tracement level of 1.3345, which is a resistance level that the pair has not been able to break above since August. Friday's risk events could create the volatility needed for range traders to get in the game, but our medium-term view remains bullish for the time being. Now, do you think we'll see a temporary pullback in the dollar cat pair on Friday? If so, do you think it would be a good time to buy? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tikmo YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates next week.